all I'm saying is there's two kinds of people who come through here. Tourists and locals. The tourists, they come in by June, they're gone by fall. Locals, they come in. And they're usually running from something. What are you running from? Northern Lights is about the magic of uh, the far north and how two lost souls find one another, two loners who have, who have been estranged from life and emotion, come together, lift the baggage that they both carry from one another, and find love, find what life is really about. What's that? Those are the Northern Lights. Best show in the winter, but it's usually too damn cold to appreciate them. I think Alaska's kind of the spirit of the film in a lot of ways, and the Northern Lights really kind of bring um, you know, these two broken people together in a lot of ways. It's a very spiritual connection. Um, and there's a spiritual connection, I think, between the Northern Lights and Meg and her father. You know, it's kind of her place to go to find him. What do I remember? His cheek was cold and he smelled like cedar. He was funny. He knew how to do card tricks and he used to read me The Little Prince. I think everyone who watches Lifetime is gonna fall in love with this film. You know, it's intelligent, it's witty, it's, it has a lot of heart. Northern Lights is a particularly fine Nora Roberts novel and I'm really pleased to, to be helping Lifetime bring this to the screen. It's going to be really interesting.